everyone, welcome back to another video. The other day I was on Salivate Metal's live stream and he saw that I was in there and he mentioned that he was wondering, I actually pick, picked one up, uh, he was wondering about how much gold is in one of these things. These little souvenir things that, you know, it says it's real gold and everything. As you can see, it's just like gold flakes and everything. I picked one of these up and there really isn't a lot of gold in there. And it, even with a bunch of it, you're probably not going to be able to recover a lot. But I went to the liquor store and I picked up a bottle of this stuff. It's called Gold Wasser. And compared to the Gold Schlager, which is also another liquor drink that has gold flakes in it, this stuff had a lot more, as you can see. There's a bunch in there. Probably not a lot, but we're gonna find out exactly how much is in here. This thing costs like $23, I think, but I know I'm not gonna recover 23 bucks worth of gold. It's just a fun experiment, and I wanna give credit to Salivate Metal. There'll be a link at the end and in the description to his channel. I think you'll enjoy his channel. So go check him out, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, well, here I have the Gold Vosser with the gold in it, and here I have a plastic jug with a coffee filter, so let's just pour it on in there. All right, we'll pour it through slowly. Is this a waste of alcohol? Yep. I'm not gonna drink any of it. Let me taste my finger here. Kind of like a sweet taste. I'll probably just rebottle this and give it to a friend or something. Hey, it was invented in 1598. It's real sticky. I think we got everything out of the bottle here. It's almost drained. Uh, once this is drained off, we'll go ahead and weigh it up. Well, we'll wash it off and then weigh it up. Let's see if we can pour this in without making a complete mess. Look at that. Oh yeah. I'm good. So right now I'm just giving it a, a rinse with some, some water. It's distilled water. That should get most of that alcohol off of there. And then we're going to dry it out and weigh it up. It actually looks pretty cool like that. Looks like a lot of gold, doesn't it? It's not. Okay, so this part's gonna be really tricky. I'm trying to transfer this stuff and move it around. The best way is to get, kind of clean it off the filter. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Just wash it off the filter into the pan, and then we'll go from there. Wow, it looks like a lot. It's just that gold is so malleable that each flake right there is just probably a little piece of flower gold. But we'll find out. Look at it floating like that. Hmm, wonder what Jet Jar would do. Yeah, so in order to drain the water off, I need this gold to go to the bottom. So let's put some Jet Dry in there. See if that makes it sink. Yep. Okay, now we just gotta drain the water off somehow. And this gold is so light, it just wants to flow with the water. I might have to let this dry naturally or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. All right, so the plan I just came up with was maybe we can just put a bead of mercury in there and the mercury will eat all of that gold up, make it into a nice consolidated ball, and then we can dissolve the mercury with some nitric acid and extract our gold that way. But first, we have to clean it with hydrochloric acid in order for the mercury to stick to it. So I'm not sure if the hydrochloric acid will dissolve the gold or not since it's so thin. I know if you leave gold in hydrochloric acid for an extended period of time, it can actually dissolve the gold. So let's put a little bit 
of hydrochloric acid on this little sample flake here and see what happens. Well, it's floating. It doesn't seem to be destroying it. All right, let's go ahead and dump that right in here. Some dilute hydrochloric acid. A little bit more. Let's stir that around a bit. Get that gold nice and clean. And we'll pop some mercury in there and dissolve it all up. So we're just gonna rinse it off the same way we actually strained it earlier. Let's pour it into here. Let's give it a good rinse. And uh, if you've watched my other video on extracting gold from black sand, all this stuff has hydrochloric acid in it. So we're gonna put that in a, a separate container and label it and send it to the local recycling place so it could be disposed of properly. But that's about it. You just need to rinse off that gold a little bit. Get that hydrochloric acid off of it. All right, as you can see here, we have a little blob of mercury and this is our clean gold. It's been rinsed from the hydrochloric acid. We're just gonna rinse it right into here with the mercury. All right, so we've got it all in there and you can see the mercury is eating up that gold pretty quick. Maybe I'll do a time lapse or something. Okay, so I tried doing a time lapse, but I hit the wrong button and it didn't work. All right, here's our um, ball of gold amalgam and mercury. Uh, we got about 99% of all that gold sucked up into that mercury ball so I've just been rolling it around and playing with it to get it to eat that gold and I think I got most of it once again uh, we're gonna go ahead and put it on a paper towel this is to extract the gold from the liquid mercury so what we do we just fold this up like so And we're working underwater here. Always work with mercury underwater because you don't want that mercury to go anywhere but where you want it. It prevents the mercury from evaporating, which, you know, the mercury vapor is extremely poisonous. The liquid mercury will go through the paper towel and we'll be left with the gold. All right, here's all of our liquid mercury that we can recollect, put back in the bottle. And here inside the paper towel, we should have our gold mercury amalgam. I got a good amount of it there this time. Looks like silver. There we go. Now, even though this paper towel looks clean, you know that there's trace amounts of mercury in it, so you put this in with your waste materials for the recycler. I hate to keep talking about safety, but you know, if I'm repeating, my, if it sounds like I'm repeating myself with the safety stuff. stuff well, no apologies. You're gonna you're gonna hear it. So this goes in with the uh, recyclables. Okay, so right here, that's what the mercury amalgam gold amalgam looks like it's very malleable soft but that's what's going to get dissolved with the nitric acid which is the next step i promise i'll get the uh time lapse to work this time all right once again real quick safety tip don't do this around people animals or anything as soon as i dump the nitric acid onto this blob of mercury and gold amalgam it's going to start releasing a brown smoke that if you breathe it, you'll be dead. So as soon as I pour this on, I'm gonna hit the time lapse and get out of here for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, until all reactions are done. And here we go.
All right, here we have our mercury and gold amalgam that's been dissolved with nitric acid. We're gonna carefully pour it off. And we're gonna rinse it with some distilled water. We're gonna pour that off as well. Okay. Now we're gonna neutralize this and do all our safety stuff. Right here, you can see we actually ended up with a decent amount of gold here. And we're not gonna know how much until we weigh it up. So now we're gonna go ahead and dry it off and get it on the scale. All right, we have our preheated crucible here. We have some borax in there lining it. We're just gonna take this gold and pour it right in there without losing any. All right, we'll add a bit more borax to that. Heat it up. All right, we have our gold poured off into this uh, metal cup here. It's in that little bead of glass. You can see the gold on the end of this glass bead right here. If I hold it up. It's pretty cool looking. Now we just have to break it out of there. Basically we'll just smash it and pan it. All right, well I got my bead of glass and gold down in there. I got this metal cup. I got a pair of pliers. I'm just gonna basically just crush it up. Now we'll pour it into a pan and just pan it like normal. Ooh, the thing's still hot. Whew. All right, there's our little bit of gold. Let's pan out that glass. It's pretty strange panning glass from gold. All right, that's what it looks like in the pan. They're actually chunky little pieces. So let's go ahead and dry it out and weigh it up for sure this time. <laughs> it's making little sounds as it hits. Chunky little pieces in here. I don't know how much it weighs, probably not that much. If there's a little piece of glass still in there, I gotta pick that out. Let's zero out the scale and pour in our gold. <laughs> about 0 0.02 I think we can call it 0 0.02 so let's see what that's worth okay here we go guys um, 0 0.02 grams I put 24 karat gold in there I'm gonna guess probably about a dollar's worth of gold is what we're gonna get out of that maybe two they are pretty chunky little pieces but you never know all right, here we go. Let's see what it's worth. 85 cents. So yes, this is definitely a great investment. Make sure you go out and buy yourself some $24 uh, gold liquor and yeah, strain it out, melt it down, spend 20 bucks in chemicals. It would probably cost a lot more because you can't buy small, small amounts. So yeah, I mean, definitely a, um, a great investment it's a get rich quick thing and uh, I highly no I'm just kidding um, it was a fun experiment I enjoyed it if you guys liked it give it a thumbs up and salivate metal there you go man that's how you do it that's how I do it there's probably other ways but that's how I did it, it took about four hours fun way to spend my afternoon so all right guys hope you enjoyed the video Leave a comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.